Hi, welcome to another tutorial. I just made a tutorial about Inksy and how we make it ready to go on an ISO. So this is for the guys that are already thinking about building an Arco Linux ISO, an Arch ISO, an uh, Arch Linux ISO variant and whatever. So it's an insight of what I do to build the ISO I give you every month, every first of the month you get an ISO and there is a lot of work behind it so this is a back-end office video but it shows you already some information also how to build the packages yourself if you run into problems the package I'm looking for is AOR Trizen and Trizen has been updated so I go to the AOR Arch Linux .org, and we can read information and if there are issues people will tell you here so check out the latest comments because often it uh, contains also the latest solutions if anything is really wrong you can always flag package out of date so the the maintainer the person who makes the package build the recipe gets a mail and says oh my package needs to be looked at because often the in these uh, package builds there is a reference to a package a url and if uh, the references change or the checksums uh, here changes, then of course we get an error from Pacman that says, hey, it doesn't work. So it's always a war, it's always a human factor in there. The person, the maintainer must be alive and well. He must not be on holiday and so on. And then he can update these package builds. Now, what do I do to launch the four, uh, to launch every first of the month a ISO? I check if there are updates for applications that we put on the ISO. So I download the snapshot because I know already that this one is needs uh, needs to be updated. So I've downloaded it already. So this is one is original, and we extract it. What's in the here is a package build, so a recipe is the same as the one online, of course. So we download it and then we're gonna copy it to where I need it to be. So a little bit structure, no chaos. And the package build for the third party guys. So this is not Arco Linux, this is for Tryzen. Where are you, Tryzen? Here you are. So these are people who make packages for us our package builds for us and it's up to us to build them now in the other video of Inksy I have a script that I run to make a clean installation uh, for the Arco Linux ISO and Arco Linux D ISO but you at any point in time you don't need this one at any point in time you can say let's open a terminal and let's make a package it's as simple as that so just need somebody to tell you hey you can make a package on this package build that's the only thing you have to do be sure that you are opening a terminal inside the same uh, folder and that is our present working directory so present working directory so that's the line and that's where we are that's fine and then you do make package it's not difficult it is even easy it's done already so let's take a look in detail what happened when I pressed make package he downloaded a package tar gz so that's a dot zip file or a seven zip or anything like that so it's a compressed file you can open it and see what's in there okay and then he unpacked it so when he unpacked it it's going to go to the source so he found all this information he unpacks everything and then Pacman says okay let's take a look and let's let's build this on this source and what he wants what he intends to put on your system is going to go in the package so he's going to build the package it's gonna give it a name and then he's gonna say okay when I install this Trizen I'm gonna make a folder user it exists of course bin it exists and I'm gonna put Trizen in there and then share as well. I'm gonna make bash completion uh, that exists as well. Completions and Trizen is going in there. And for ZSH, some site functions. So every application you build 
is going to put their software folders, uh, configuration files, icons somewhere. And that's what's going to happen when we execute our package. So because on the basis of this thing, Pac-Man Pac made this one. And that's a tar.xset. So remember that extension, that's actually an executable in the other operating system. It's an MSI, you know, it's just double click and install. Now there's also a pseudo pacman minus U, big U, capital U, and then it works as well. That's terminal talk. But we can just double click it and again, tries this again, update it. And that's, if you can keep this anywhere you want this is your executable if you want to keep it on Dropbox or on Google Drive or anywhere that's a application to run it and next time you install that kind of software just double click it and you have it or maybe quickly show you as well then it's really complete minus you and then you say what which one you want to uh, install and that's as simple as that and there you go it's installed again. All right, so that's um, how uh, you can make a package. Now, if you want to investigate for, you always uh, more, you always uh, type man and then man package and then read. You know? One of the things, for instance, uh, that happens to me is when I make a package again, um, the files are already there and it says, hey, you can't make a package. So I press like this. And it says what you need to do. It says actually your folder is already filled with all these uh, this data. Can I overwrite it? Yes, overwrite it. I've changed the package build. So that's what he'll do then. So um, I do think I covered it all except then this build because that's in the other video about Inksy. So make package, anybody can make a package. We don't need this, we can delete this and we can delete this. This is what you need, that's your executable. All right, enjoy.